Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Rosie Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. In the last episode, we uh, we took care of some things in a few other missions, and in this for this time around though, I wanted to uh, look at a few things. I see here we got our little our, I got ceramic plates since the last mission, so I thought that I should make that apparent. And uh, let's see what else did we get. I was doing a little side stuff every now and again, but we finished off the uh, CIA listening post. So now we're going to intercept NSA and intelligence. Jeez, we're just going through all the intelligence uh, companies now. We're in Rome. Good old Rome. You know where the gelato shops are at. I think I just got salmonella by looking at this place. Gotta nice. keep the public from dropping in for a cone. So why even put this place in the back of a gelato shop? Is this an excuse to justify a five billion a year ice cream budget? Actually, the refrigeration equipment a shop like this uses is perfect for keeping a server bank cool. And no one bats an eye when a gelato shop buys a big walk-in cooler. Okay, you'll need to come up with a good reason to be here. Hmm, looks like they're scheduled for server maintenance and security upgrades this month. That might get you in. I think I can smooth talk my way past them. Don't play games, Mike. These guys are trained to spot double agents and imposters. If their post is compromised, they'll shut it down and we'll lose our access. You'll also need to give the correct handshake code to identify yourself as an agent. Secret, Secret handshakes. handshakes? What are we, the Shriners? It's a specific passphrase that rotates on a monthly basis. You give the correct phrase, they give the correct response, and you both know everything's on the level. So what's the code? Tell them that the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. They should respond with, yes, but the Alps are lovely all year long. Got it. Let's see if anybody's home. I much like to mock them. I think I'll just wait and see what happens. Oh, look at this lovely, uh, gentleman. <laughs> Oh my god, my head, my glasses are clipping through my head. Can I help you? It is so weird. I'm here to fix the computers. We don't have a problem with the computer. I hear the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. I don't like the mountains. Hmm? And you're here to fix the computers? He didn't give the response for his, something's wrong. Uh, yeah. Say, about those Adirondacks. I told you I don't like mountains. Come on. I'll show you the computers. That's not the response phrase. Stay on guard, Mike. If my code is out of date, they might suspect you're not on the level. So, my friend, what do you need? Uh, we'll go with upgrade. Nothing serious. Just here to upgrade your security systems. Oh. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Well, crap, that was easy. So, no more computer troubles, eh? You should be all set. Fort Meade can rest easy now. Executor, do hey, nothing. my friend! Yeah? Gone to go? Uh, not after I saw what you did with that cone thing. All right. Despite the proprietor's usual behavior, Agent Thornton navigated the conversation without resisting suspicion. Awesome. We did a great job. Of course, I may not be able to eat ice cream for the next week. Alright, that was a pretty short mission, actually. I think we can do another one. Yeah, the the mission times in this is, uh, it's really odd. Sometimes you'll do, like, a mission that takes no time at all. Other times of missions that'll take forever to get through. It really depends. Oh, we got everything from Halbeck. Oh, I got some, uh, Malberg files. Nice. I think that's about it for now. We didn't unlock any new weapons, so we're just gonna move on to the next mission here right away. And next is Intercept Jibril... Jibril Albara. Sorry, I actually forgot what his name was. I always call him Albara. Albara. You in place? Yep. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. James Bond reference. Well, I'm glad I brought this rifle. 
but what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And Interesting. if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. We don't know who Albar is meeting, so taking anyone else out may have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. All right, so in this mission, it looks like we just have to scan. Wow, this thing is really sensitive. You have to be inside Roman the circle. Artist. Made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. Yes, yeah, so you actually have to have them inside the inner circle there for it to scan them. And this can, and for some reason the controls on this are really, really touchy. Owns a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Gee, I wonder why we don't have stuff like that for the police. You know how useful that would be? To have a scope that can like read them in like that? Alright, let's get this a guy. Nobody. <laughs> a nobody. Looks like the guards are clear. He doesn't We're exist, he's just some speed. guy. I like how they did that. That's that's clever. So I think for a lot of this, uh, if you, as you can tell for this mission, there isn't a whole lot of shooting going on. It's just more or less finding our target. All right, let's begin. All right, let's see what this guy knows. Na, 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 na. Come on. Security guard. He's clean. That's good. What? Hello. What's that? What is this? Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. Jeez, Mike. Give you any more uh, obvious on that? There's a guy in here, too. A Spanish celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. Well, that's good. You think they'd be upset if I shot that girl there? Dutch flower baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade. That's all Peter Vandergroff. Nothing really incriminating. That's an awesome name. All right, how about you, sir? I scanned you yet? No, I have not. Come on, stop moving. Private security. Elmo. <laughs> Special forces. Not Elmo our man. Gar I'm Garbaldi. A professional. Oh he man, I feel sorry for you, sir. Nothing against anybody who has the name Elmo, but just Should I get an if you're from America, you know. No. That Elmo is a daughter. little red fuzzy monster-like creature from He's Sesame Falta. Street. All right, we're moving on to the third stage. It looks like then. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Might be very careful. I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a target. I like I'm wearing sunglasses at night, by the way. It's a rooftop up there. Let's see what this guy knows. Scan him. An American novelist. He's got a bestseller right now on corporate involvement in the Middle East. Oh, is it any good? I'm waiting for the movie. Anyway, nothing on him. Oh, there's a guy up here. I knew there was a window up here. I thought there was a guy, guy like sticking out the window. I got Albara. Oh, That's cool. Him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though, and... Mina, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from, or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of Al-Samad, right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But I might be wrong. You can take him out, or we can abort. It's up to you. Hmm. I mean, we have pretty much eliminated Al Shahid, so he's not like it's a real issue. We can't scan that guy, sadly. So you know what? We're just gonna eliminate this guy then. Make sure it's the first shot. It's done. He's dead. I hope you're right. If not, yeah, we'll have hell to pay. But you know what? We'll be fine. Faith killer. All right, another mission in the bag. This is going really fast.
seems like Thorn activities and Roman permits especially coming up then. Pond or repairing it, you're say, hey, Pavs. I forgot how to talk. Okay, so what that was saying at the bottom there was that as we returned to the safe house, somebody left us a message as soon as he got back. So, normally that wouldn't be a, no a weird thing, but this is actually a very important message because this leads to the, to the second part of the Rome mission. What's that beeping noise? It's a bomb. Oh no, it sounds like a. Sounds like a submarine sonar, actually. Oh, hey, Scarlet. Uh. We'll go with the honest approach. Oh, somebody's been looking for me, it looks like. We have matters to discuss. Alright, um. That's weird. I think we'll have, uh... You know what? I think we'll have Mia look into this. Sorry to meet cowards with anonymous emails. Yeah, we'll have uh, Mina look into this, I think, because... I don't remember who this is. And I hate to agree with it and then put us in a really bad position later on. So it's better just to figure out who we're dealing with. And I think that's about it. Um... I don't think I got any new weapons yet. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright then, so I guess we'll move on to a third mission. We're already clearing out three missions in one episode. And we're only 12 minutes in. Contact Halbeck Informant. Alright, let's see who we're dealing with here. No sign of our mysterious Halbeck contact yet. Maybe he stood you up. I don't know. Hmm. Something feels wrong. Hmm. Well, stay oh my god, my head keeps glitching from the glasses. That's really weird. Switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. If you open fire in here, it's going to be a lot worse for you, trust me. Don't make me repeat myself. Jeez. What the hell? You've made an effort to broadcast your arrival in Rome. Why? You're We're the bluff why. This guy. I was hoping if I stomped around enough, you'd come out of whatever hole you were hiding in. I would have expected a rogue agent would be more cautious. Nah. Why bother? Corporate tools like yourself can always be baited into showing themselves. It's a rookie move. So, what, now you're gonna threaten me? Go ahead, this should be worth a laugh. You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton, an American citizen, but you have traveled extensively since birth. A known freelancer. Yeah, yeah, mercenary for hire. I'm an operative now. After Saudi, I had to change my five-year plan. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country, and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. So you've done your homework. Congratulations. I know who you are, too. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, toady, henchman. Chief of security, as of a year ago. Those gloves keep the dirt off? Ah, uh, yes. And the blood. I don't like this guy. When need be. I don't trust him. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead. And it looks like I've found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. So am I. And I think we have room to negotiate. No. I am not authorized to make deals. Besides, I believe you have nowhere to go for help. So you're wrong. In that situation, 
It is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. I'm alone. I'm not in contact with anyone. Certainly not the agency that cast me out. Your denial just adds to oh, the crap. evidence. crap. I saw that coming. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. I think you're the one who needs to leave. And it's simple, because your boss's plan is flawed. Really? Leyland's never seen the world outside of the boardroom or an air-conditioned limo. And he's planning something to change the world? Doesn't seem to me like he knows what he's doing. Of course. He provided a goal, another provided a plan, I provided the means. We are done here. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Alright, so that's just trying to explain everything else. Ooh, a new mission. Contact Man Madison St. James. I think we can do that mission in the time we have. What is it? 17? I, you know what? I'm going to run this episode a little bit longer. Just so we can get a little more uh, time. i got to catch up, actually. Ooh, excuse me. i got to catch up, actually, because I've been so so caught up in a lot of stuff. I've been late on my episodes for a while now. You weren't hard to find in Rome, you know. I did it on purpose. The shooting outside of Rome. <sighs> that poor professor. Taking the bullet like that. Finding you was easy. What can I say? I was hungry. <laughs> so I checked out restaurant reviews, chose one, and waited. I knew one of your goons would show. And that's when you and Mr. Marburg met up and had lunch. Yay. There wasn't much time to eat, actually. He was too busy talking, and I was too busy keeping my hands where he could see them. <laughs> so a normal business lunch, then. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Oh, we laughed, we cried, we had a grand old time. That Marburg, he could do a killer impression of you. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking oh, of boy. which... This woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. Actually, no. You have to do it because the game won't let you do it otherwise. But that's breaking the fourth wall there. But yeah, I've actually been a little bit behind on my episodes, so I'm hoping to make a few more uh, as I go on, trying to make them a little more recent and try to get more missions done at the same time because I would like to move on to another project at some point that I've been actually working on for a while now. Are we in a mission already? Kind of looks like we are because why would it load so much? Mike, we may have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for That's you smart. by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The <laughs> city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? Because if she's an agent, we'll know soon enough. Do it. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? Who were you trying no. to reach? Michael Thornton. How many times do I have to tell you people? This is an emergency. And your reason for calling? What? Who is this? 
I'm Michael Thornton. I want to know why you're looking for me. <laughs> I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She's a sharp one. No shit. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? I have an apartment here in Rome. We could meet here if you'd like. It's a beautiful view. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. If they're watching me, that might lead them to you. Well, if it makes you feel better, send me an address and I'll meet up with you. I know a restaurant in the area. We should be able to talk without being interrupted. Sounds nice. It's not far. 15 minutes? Looking forward to it. Oh, we level up. All right, so she places uh, something in the mission a little bit later on. She does health in some aspect, but not by much. All right, so what are we gonna hear? I think I already explained Iron Will already, have, giving us the damage resistance when we're fighting bosses, which is gonna be helpful in the long run. Um, I'm trying to think what would we need. I mean, while the thing is, when I'm playing by myself, uh, doing a let's play is different because a let's play I have to make it, you know, coincide with each other well. Whereas if I'm just, you know, playing by myself, I can kind of mess around a bit. So we'll do this stuff to increase our first aid supplies and whatnot. All right, I think that's about it. So we've actually got a lot done in this episode, but a lot of it was just kind of watching. Uh, I apologize for that in the long run. There will be more shooting, I, I promise you that. So let's check out the emails and see what we can pull out. Let's see what we got going on here. Heads up from Georgia. Someone from Sean Darcy. And then Mina. And we didn't get anything new in the weapons, so... Yeah, nothing new there. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hopefully in the next episode we'll be able to do a lot more. Might get this demo digital camouflage here. And put that on. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be able to find out what Madison St. James wants from us. And see if, uh, it's any use to our mission. And hopefully we don't put her in too much danger. And hopefully this digital camouflage will help in the long run. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Rosgus Wolf, and I will see you guys in the next mission. See you guys then.